Hello. Today what I want to do is share how to set up the Reflex Survival Shelter as a hammock tarp. I've used this a couple times and once in a snowstorm and still was nice and dry and kept from snow even when it was blowing. This here I'm just going to give a quick simple setup but this was designed as a survival, emergency survival shelter first, though you can do so much more with it. I'm going to, to be camping with this tonight, set up as an emergency shelter, and I'm going to be sharing that with you. I've got my buddy Chris with me, and he's going to be setting up in another one right beside me. I'm just going to share that set up with you in another video. I'm going to tie from this tree going over to another tree over that way. But I wanted to mention that the reflex shelter does not come with cordage or pegs. So add to your kit whichever cordage you may need and the pegs for whichever setup you decide on. So first I'm going to start with a ridge line. And how I'm going to start that is I'm just going to tie it here. And then I'm going to start fishing it through my tarp and then tying it to the other side. So I'm going to put it up here. Right there, that's done. And now I can take the other end and start fishing it through my tarp. So this tarp is 14 feet long by 6 feet wide. So when I hang my hammock underneath of it, I put my hammock right in underneath the tarp. But, like I said, even blowing snow, my hammock was not affected. So it worked well. So what I want to do is open it up. I'll find one of the ends, which is right here. And then I'm going to go up to the first loop. Turn this around like that and start feeding my ridge line through these loops. Just like that, and now we're going to run it over to the other tree and tie it off. So I have put some shock cord around the ends of these and on certain tie out points. And I have another shock cord here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a present knot out of this other shock cord. Like this. And then I can bring this up, put that through, and just put a toggle through it, like that. And then pull this tight. Right like that, and I'm going to do the same on the other end. Now all I have to do is stretch out the sides and put some tie outs, guidelines on each corner of the tarp. So I've got the other three all put on the guidelines. So this is my last one. Just going to put my cordage on there. And now all I have to do is stake this out. I'm going to adjust that guideline now and lock it in. There we go. So that's all set up now. And this here is just another way that you can use the Reflex Survival Shelter. We have a link down below where you can check it out if you like. 
and I want to thank you for watching. If you do end up trying one of these out, this here may be a setup that you enjoy too. Take care, all the best, and thanks for watching.